All right, construction and repair equipment, hydraulic subcourse EN526 edition B, US, uh, United States Army Engineering School, Fort Leonard M Wood, Missouri, 654734, credit hours edition date, November 1999. <coughs> All right, introduction. Hydraulic science is the science of using force of motion to contain liquid hydraulic device transfer to energy tray place when the liquid is subject to the pressure following the four basic principles will govern hydraulics. Liquids have no shape of their own conform to the shape of the container. Liquids are incompressible. Liquids transmit apply pr pressure in all directions. Liquids provide with the increased force of the following key fact for they have been gained with the understanding of the hydraulic hydraulic power generator of the mechanical power. Hydraulic energy is achieved converting the hydraulic power to mechanical energy. Hydraulic energy consists of the potential pressure energy of the kinetic energy moving the liquids and heating energy resistant fluid of the friction energy generated. Hydraulic energy is neither created nor destroyed or converted into another form. Uh, to another form, energy hydraulic system is concerned with either work or gain or heat or loss. Heat is created, energy is lost, the moving liquid is restricted. Part A, positive displacement pump with the general, um, positive leaven general. Pumps are lifted with the transport, uh, transport liquid that may be required with the level of the force liquid through the hydraulic system. Pumps are hydraulic system and you with the very mechanical injury hydraulic pump. Energy mechanical pump creates a partial vacuum in the pump's inlet port so, the, so the atmospheric pressure of the reserve can force the liquid for the inlet plant line and the into the pump of mechanical power with the liquid liquid for the outlet port. Forcing the liquid into the hydraulic system. The pumps of the displacement pump are the most common on the hydraulic pump of the engineering, engineering, engineering construction equipment. These pumps of the rotary motion with the care of the liquid of the inlet port of the outlet port, but they produce the passing fluid of the liquid pause because of these pumps, the pause of the internal seal preventing leak with the output with a relatively ineffective system variation. For example, the outlet ports block pressure for the pump is increased until the equipment is solved. The pump, the motor fail, the positive displacement pumps the classified according to the equipment element transmit with the liquid gear, vein, or piston. Gear pump. The gear pump on um, figure 11 of the figure with the driving gear with the driven gear and clove the fill is of the gears re rotating opposite direction of the gears with teeth matched with the housing between the inlet and outlet port of the teeth with the two set gears separated with the partial vacuum and support with the draw liquid. Through the inlet port within the chamber A with liquid, the chamber A is then trapped between the two of the teeth of the gears of the housing and carry through the two path of the chamber B with the teeth of the meshes again with liquid is forth through the outlet port. The gear pump show the chamber A with the driving gear with the housing, the chamber B, the, the outlet port is driving gear in the port and then um, vein pump. The vein pump is a of rotor, sp um, rotor spline with the driver's half of the rotate for the flat fitted side plate for the inside of the elliptical sh circular shaped ring. Figure 12 of the pivot polish for the hardened veins to slide in and out of the rotor slides found with the regular cotton rings. Con Torque central figure um, four. So the chamber force between the seducing the veins carry about the inlet port outlet port with the partial but vacuum is created with the inlet um, as the space between the veins increases the forcing oil through the outlet point as the area pumping the chamber is increased the normal wear point of the vein pump with those hips and the ring for the surface of these parts, especially hard in the ground. All right, continuing the I had to pause it for a second, but. All right, 13, vein pump. With the vein pump slide with the rotor split with the drive shaft with the, between the fitted um, side plate with the elliptical circular shape of the ring pulse hard vinyl line slide with the outward of the rotor slot, uh, slots. Follow the ring contour central figure of the chamber with the fourth between the seating vein with carry out the inlet port and outlet uh, to the outlet port. A partial vacuum created on the inlet of the space between the veins and creep the forcing out oil through the outlet is through the air of the pumping chamber with the decrease of the plug over the normal wear of the point of the vein pump. The edge of the tip of the ring shaft with these parts are especially hard into the ground. Um, figure one, two, shift the vein port, the inlet port, the drive shaft, the um, sealed rotor, the elliptical ring with the uh, uh, veins and the outlet port. A vein pump is the only pump that's designed with automatic wear composition. Also, uh, as where is the uh, curve of the vein slide without the rotor slide with the continued file with the ring of the contour. The fission remains high throughout the life of the pump. The vein pump it can be assembled and rotated to either left or right. Corresponding arrows stamped on the body p um, pumps and ca ca cartridge include rotation direction. Rotation is indicated the model number of the pump is assembled. The left hand rotation counterclockwise view with the drive shaft and the letters um, LH added to the model number of the pump assembled with the right hand location have no marks. 14. Piston pumps. On the inline piston pump, the drive shaft of the cylinder block with the same center line with the figure 13. Reciprocation with the piston with the curve with the piston runs again with the slosh plate with the cylinder block, ro cylinder block rotate with the drive shaft turn with the cylinder block with the curve with the piston around the shaft. The piston shoe slide with the against with the swash plate with the held against with the shoe retainer with the plate with the plate and the swash plate with the um, cloth with the cylinder to reciprocate into the bores. When the piston begins with the retract the opening end with the bore slides with over the inlet slide of the valve plate, oil is drawn with the bore through the last one half of the revolution of the cylinder block. 
tackle the solid you know, solid area with grave of the vile plate with the piston and retract that is the piston begin with extend with the opening cylinder barrel moves out of the inlet port and oils force through the outlet port a major component of the piston pump contains the, as if the housing bearing support of the drive shaft the rotating group of the shaft seal with the valve the plate with the valve plate with the continue with the inlet port outlet pu- port's function is the ba- ba- back cover of the rotating gr- gr- group converts includes the cylinder block which is supplied with the drive shaft is with the specific washer cylinder block or nine pistons with the within shoe with nine pistons um, with the shoe swash plate with the shoe retainer with the group that's assembled the cylinder block spring four cylinder block against the valve plate with the cylindrical washer as against the shoe retainer plate with the nine piston shoe with the positively against the swash plate as shown with the piston reciprocating cylinder t- earns in fixed pl- fixed pl- displacement pump the swash plate is stationary Figure one three the housing shoe to retainer place wash plate on drive shaft cylindrical washer shoe piston shoe um piston shoe piston cylinder block valve plate outlet port inlet port cylinder block spring Displacement outflow over the piston, but the pump depends on the number of the piston of the rubber one. The stroke of the swash blade with the angle that uh, determines the stroke of that through the stroke of the B chain with the alternating angle in figure 414. Um, piston pump the displacement, so the maximum displacement going in and out, partial displacement, and then zero displacement. General, in the case of the, uh, the MW242 scope, though, the two section pump with the three quarter of the one section position with the hydraulic p- p- power of the piston, the steering system, the other section piston, p- p- piston, p- piston, piston, shoe, cylindrical washer, drive shaft with the swash, ring, swash plate, has, housing shoe, retainer plate, cylinder block, spring with two in the outlet port, valve plate with cylinder block, plate, maximum displacement, partial displacement, zero displacement from zero um, degrees, provides power over the load, loader system of the mantle over the gear type of the fixed displacement pump located with the rear of the out of the driven the transmission hydraulic. Line with the carry the food, the reservoir pump with the pump with the control, the demand with the relief valves. 16. Remove the repair with the gear pump when the gear pump breaks down and does not operate properly. The maintenance supervisor and instructs the construction equipment to repair the procedure necessary to determine the extent of the damage possible pairs. And the first step of the process is to drain the reservoir of the pump and remove the transmission completely disassembled before cleaning. Repairs begin with the removal of the disassembly process. The required simple step, each step must be performed in order listed. Refer to the figure 15 with the use of the following step the drain with the reservoir of the gear of the pump. To remove the filler pump with the hydraulic reservoir. Slowly relieve the air pressure. Remove the drain plug tube with the drain the fluid from the reservoir into the container. Turn off the front and the loader fully left and right and engage the locking bar. Figure one five show the hydraulic reserve um, reservoir in J1 case model M424 uh, M24C scooper loader. For the figure 16, you put the following step to remove the gear of the pump to remove the housing assembly from the gear pump to drain the hydraulic fluid in the container support of the hydraulic pump three, remove the two cap screws, one block washer two, remove the pump pump three with the bracket four with the transmission carefully protected with the cover the over the spline drive shaft of the pump with the binding pad to prevent foreign material from entering the transmission. Figure one six show the hydraulic gear pump. Figure 117, you have the page 18, you use the following step to disassemble the gear with the slide of the line and lengthwise along with the pump with the aid uh, alignment during the reassembly. Remove the rolling bearings with the bearing puller. Replace them as necessary. Remove the seals and discard. Remove the seals from the shaft and the rear. Remove the seals 13 from the shaft and 34 with the coast cover the pa- and perform packing of the seal 32. Gear pump exploded view. Cleaning all the metal parts, cleaning some of the specification PD680 with allow the parts to air dry with the do not use cloth to dry the part. Inspect the gear pump with the figure refer to figure 17. Complete the following steps in inspection of the gear pump. The inspect the gear circle of the edge for the gear for the teeth of the burn. Scoring with the wear, remove the burrs with the fine zone. Replace the gears that have worn badly. Score with the gears must be replaced and set with the replace. Inspect the driving gear 22. Replace the rough damage near for the seal with the wear of the wearing for the surface of the cover of the shaft the diameter of the differ from the designated diameter of the more than one thousandth of an inch. Inspect the roller bearings. Um, 618 and 30 with the free rolling, pitting the wearing will play for the bearings as needed. Inspect the gear housing 924 and wearing damage with the play for the needed. Inspect the mating of the surface of the gear housing 924. Bearing cover 15, port and cover the shaft and cover 34 with the birds damage with the room of the birds and the fine fall. Fine foul stone, they're played for the entire part of the strip of the dead, if bad, is badly damaged. Inspect the thrust plate, 416 and 28, I'm wearing scoring, we're played for the place as needed. Resemble the gear pump, refer to figure 17, complete the following steps. Resemble the gear pump, the coated, the perform packing with the pocket, seal the 5, 17, and 29, seal 7, 10, 11, 19, 25, 31, and 32, with the oil soluble grease, performing and installing the seal with the 32 with the shaft, and then the cover 34 with the lipping face with the inside of the bore. Use the soft gel to play for the shaft, and with the cover 34, and the vice install with the perform Form packing of the rolling barrier 30 and then the shaft end cover 34. Grease the six pocket, seal with the 17 and shovel the two middle solids over the thrust plate and 16 and then shovel the thrust plate four with on the drive shaft of the pocket, seal with the facing of the shaft end cover 34. Tap the thrust plate four and play with the leave of the clearance for the um, 
zero three one two five inch of the between the thrust plate four and the shaft end cover thirty four install the six outer pocket seal five and the thrust plate four with the pocket uh, seals five slot ends of the back um, making contact with the roller bearings eighteen thrust plate four with the solidly position of the port ending cover three rulers are blade sharp knife the trim the exposed end of the pocket seal five so that they were flush with the side of the thrust plate four Use a soft gel um, gel for the plate for the gear housing with the 24 and soft in the thrust plate with the 16 in the scrap in the paragraph the 18D. Play the G. Play for the port end cover 3 with the install of the seal 7 with the roller bearing 6 with the thrust plate 4 with the plate for the bearing cap 15 with the device for the install of the seal 8 and 19 roller bearings 18 thrust plate 16. Place the shuttle will shove the end with the 34 and the device with the coated thrust plate with the 28 engine oil installing the driver gear 22 with the driving gear. 23 on the shaft end cover 34. Install the seals 25 with the groove of the rear gear housing of the 24. Install the housing with the gear on the shaft end of the cover of the 34 with the, the gear housing 24 with the leather hammer to seat on um, the cover of the lubricating of the gear for the engine oil with the provided the initial lubrication K. Install the connecting shaft of the 21 with the bore pump the shaft of the driving gear 22 with the install of the bearing carrier 15 on the gearing housing 24 with the alignment of the scribe mark with the tap of the bearing carrier 15 in place. Install the drive gear 13 on the connection shaft of the 21. Install the driving gear 14 with the bore carrier. 15 with install the seal stand and 11 with the groove of the gear housing 9 place the gear housing 9 over the gears of the tap of the housing in place lubricate the gears in the in, with the engine oil all right place the port cover over the gear of the housing um, 9 with the tap the plate with the red forced over the port cover and port end cover 3 with the shaft the end of the 34 with the on to until the shut end for the extent with above the port end of the cover 3 until insert the four washers 2 and the nuts to tighten 1 tighten the nuts 1 snug plate rotating the connection shaft the 21 with the drive gear 22 with a 6 inch wrench to check the ease of operation of the connection shaft 21 rotates freely tighten the nuts 1 to the torque of the 200 foot pound to rotate the connection 21 um, and check the ease of operation second time with the pound should be ro um, pumped so the palms should rotate freely with no evidence of the binding. Coat the splines of the connection shaft of the 21 with the driving gear 22 with the grief. The 19 install the gear pump with complete um, complete the following steps and initial install the ensemble gear pump. Refer to figure 17 with page 18 with the protective cover of the spline with the connection shaft of the gear pump with the connection with the um, shaft of the grief. Then install the pump with the bounding pad. Figure th figure 16 page 17 install the gear pump. Screw with the two screws. One lock washers two for the connection the hydraulic line with the pump. The figure figure 15 in page 16 with the continue with the following steps and install the assemble the gear pump. Replace with the Train plug two with the train assembly six with the in the reservoir with the plate for the cover the four with the gasket five of the reservoir secure with the cover the screw with the three refill the reservoir hydraulic fluid for plate for the filler plug one start with the engine check the plug with the lines and release operate with the hydraulic control and check the pump operation part Z vein pump the um, general double section um, double section instruction from the hydraulic vein pump to you for the cattle builder G seven G for the tractor the pump of the bolt for the engine high rear power takeoff housing and the driven with the rear power takeoff the idle gear with the vein pump with consider the small and large section both of the which for the chair with the common inlet the large section provided the Hydraulic power of the blade, lift the scrape of the circle of the blade, lift the circle of the control of the valve created, located with the hydraulic tank with the scrape circuit, the um, scraper circuit, and it's controlled with the valve of the located with the equipment operated with the compartment, small section power of the blade, tilt with the circle of the is controlled by the valve the mounted with the hydraulic tank. The volume pump the require the continuous flow of the clean oil with the lubricate with the closely fitted loop parts and let oil that is not available to the pump see with the sustain the damage for the engine start with the insufficient oil supply may result with a clog and leaking inlet line or low oil level of the pump may need to be removed or clean or repaired. Eleven um, um, removal of the vein pump. To remove the vein pump of the mounting with the complete with the following steps. Close the shut off of the valve located with the near the reservoir. Disconnect with the suction intake with a pressure outlet hose. Remove the vein pump with the mounting bracket housing. Disassemble the vein pump. Refer to appendix D to the page D7 through D10 to assemble the base vein pump. Cleaning inspection repairing the vein pump. The vein pump is disassembled through the cleaning of the dry all the parts. Um, um, carefully inspect the prepared clean parts according to the following procedure. Discard the intake of the exhaust plate. Seal the O-rings. Wash all the mounting parts and mineral oil. Serve the dry to them with the filter compressor. Place the parts and clean for the inspection can spec of the surface of the pump housing rotary ring with rotary scoring the wear remove the light scoring parts of the lapping of the extra fine and recap the lapping or the other lapping compound replace heavily scored badly worn parts check with the intake is off the end for the place for the scoring wear with the replace for the um, badly worn heavily scored end play with the inspection vein with the with the boards wear and play with the rotor slides too much play with the node with the play for the rotor veins refer to the repair replacement standard listed and appropriate TM to determine the replacement necessary check the split ring and slip ring washer for the scoring wear put wear and replace for the heavily scored or badly worn parts. Check with the bearing of the um, wear of the fitted with the check of the pitted crack ball with the replace the ply with the pressure slow with the rotate the bearing with the um, plate for the bearing and is worn or screwed. Put the drive shaft on the ply with the bearing and the check with the excess plate. Replace the ply of the bearing if necessary. Replace the prepare and placement standard listed in a corner bit TM. Determine the placement if necessary. Check inspect the um, oil seal mating surface with the drive shaft scoring with the wear of the marking on the drive shaft cannot be removed. With the polishing or plate with the drive shaft. The age coating the O rings with a small amount of petroleum jelly. Hold them and in place during reassembly. Lubricate 
showcasing some of the vein pump lubricating all the parts and clean with the preferred appendix G for the page G410 for the G14 assembly of the vein pump. The testing of the vein pump preferred appendix G for these pages D14 through G18 to test the vein pump. Part D, um, piston pump. Generally, the piston pump is G for the H for the compensation hydraulic pump, the t um, 10 piston variable p displacement, the constant pressure radio pump, the warning, the ACE hydraulic system is G for the high pressure for the relative of the pressure for the disconnect for the any hydraulic component. After the pressure is relieved, the weight at least four minutes before the disconnect for the any hose fitting the failure to comply with may result in severe injury. For removing the piston pump, complete the following step to remove the piston pump, the remove the figure, figure tool, um, 112, the disconnect of the piston pump, the U for the following step, the disconnect of the hose, 1, 2, and 3 from the elbows, 4, 5, and 6. Loosen the screw 8 with the clamp of the 9, remove the clamp from the pump 7. Figure 112 is disconnecting the pump. Piston pump. Refer to figure 113, page 114, with the remove of the piston pump, the remove of the two self locking screw of the washer, um, 10 with the washer 11, the pump 7, and the gasket 12 with the transfer case 13, discard the screws 10, and the gasket 12. 113, remove the piston pump, um, Disassemble the piston pump. Complete the following step. Disassemble the piston pump. Refer to figure one of fourteen. Disassemble the piston pump. The use of the following steps. One fourteen. Disassembling the parts. Oh, one. Remove the elbows four and six with the seal of the fifteen. Fourteen and fifteen with the pump seven. The discard of the packet. Remove the elbow fifteen. With the reducer sixteen with the seal seventeen. With the elbow eighteen. The seal nineteen. With the pump seven. The discard of the seals seventeen and nineteen. Refer to figure one fifteen. Disassemble the piston pump. The use of the following step. Remove the four cap screws. One with compensator. Two with the gasket. Three seals. Four and the cover five. The discard the gasket and the seal four. Remove the 15 distant disassembling the piston pump from the part 2. Removing the 4 screw, the 6 of the cover, 5 of the gasket, 7 of the housing, 8 of the discard, the gasket, remove the roading, cut, rotary, roading cup of the assembly fair to comply with the main result of the damage equipment. Refer to 116, the page 116, the sum of the piston pump, you for the following steps. 116, the piston pump, part 3. Tip the housing of the 8 forward to remove the rotating um, group 9 with an end from the shaft 10. Remove the swash blade 11 with the two screw with the yoke with the apply with the pressure with the yoke with the 12 with the wood dial with the drive out with the two pin tools 14 with the yoke move the yoke with the 12 with the sheet 15 with the two springs 16 shaft 10 and housing 8 remove the packing 17 with the pin tool 14 discard with the seal 17. Reassemble the um, 119. Reassemble the piston pump. Complete the following seven steps of the reassemble the piston pump. Lightly coat all the parts. Lubricating oil part and perform the assembly. Apply with lubricating oil packing before the installing the refer to figure 116. Reassemble the piston pump. You with the following steps. Install the seal 17 on the pin tools 14. Install the two springs 16. Seat 15. Yoke for the 12. The housing 8. And the press down with the yoke of the 12. The line with the screws on the hole of the pin tool 14. Install the two pin tools with the housing 8. And the yoke of the 12. With the pin tool groove of the muscle line with the center yoke screw holes. Install the screw screws 12. 13. With the yoke of the 12, with the tight and the screw 13, with the 70 80 foot pound, with the insole of the swash level, we'll play 11 on the yoke of the 12, with the chamfered side first. Um, cover the face with the swash blade 11, the lubricating oil level, lay the housing on the left side with the carefully side, the, the rotating cup of 9 on the shaft of the line, the spindles with the coat of the face with the rotating group of the lubricating oil. Note the cover of the wheel not flushing until the screws are tightened, the refer to figure 115 on the page 115, where some of the piston may use the flushing gets up, then the gasket 7, then cover the on the f 5 on the housing with the 4 screws, um, 6 of the tight and the screw for the 6 of the 2, 25 to 35 foot pounds, and the gap packing 4. Um, gasket three, compensator two, and then cover the five with the four screw with the one with the tighten the screws one to sixty to seventy foot pounds of torque. One twenty, install the piston pump, complete the following step of the install the piston pump. Note the new pumps are delivered at twenty five um thousand of an inch or twenty five thousand of an inch key install with the shaft that discovered the key with the U for the twenty five thousand of an inch or two hundred and twenty five ten thousand of an inch. For the figure one twelve the page one thirteen with the install of the clamp the eight with the pump seven the refer to figure one thirteen and page one fourteen install the piston pump you for the following step. Clean the mounting strip for the page um pump seven and transfer case thirteen. Note apply the lubricating oil um screw with the threads for the back and packing before the installation install the gear with the casket with the twelve the pump seven the transfer case thirteen with the washer cell eleven the uh, locking screws refer to figure one fourteen page one 114 and elbow the packing 114 elbow um elbow four packing 15 elbow six of the packing 17 reducer 16 packing 19 elbows 18 elbow five on the pump seven the position the elbow six should be slightly downward to prevent the hose from interfering with the injector for the 112 of the page 113 install the piston pump to give the following steps and warning to ensure the primary pump is primed with the lubricating oil of the failure to comply with the result of the damage in the equipment connect with the sp and and SNS pump seven the hose with the three with the elbow six with the elbow four with the upright position fill the pump with the shovel the getting over the upright elbow with the four with it until the oil overflows elbow turn the elbow to the downward position connect with the SPN and NSS NSN P at pump nine with the O's two with the elbow five with the connect with the SPN and NS, uh, NSN drain SV hose one to elbow four all right listen to hydraulic valves.